Hello everyone, welcome back to American Textbook Reading. We're on lesson 10 right now. We're talking about needs and wants. In this unit, you will discover what needs and wants are. So think about that, needs and wants. What are they exactly? In this picture, can you get an idea of what we're talking about when we say needs and wants? Let's just look at this very quickly as a warm up. Uh, first of all, we have a bottle of water here, and we have a cute toy here, right? He's pretty cute, isn't he? Big eyes, and he's just kind of funny looking. He's a little hippo, a hippo toy. So which one do you think that you need? Which one do you really need in your life? Do you need the toy? Do you absolutely need it? Probably not. Your life would be okay if you don't have this toy. But do you need water? Absolutely. We all need to drink water. It's something we need. The toy might be something we want. Some people might want it. Other people might not want it. So when we talk about needs and wants, we're going to be talking about these, this type of idea. We're also going to be talking about how people get those needs and wants. Let's take a look. First of all, like I said before, needs. We looked at the bottle of water just before. We said that people need water. You need water to live. A need is things that you must have to live. Those are your needs. By the way, needs can be singular, a need, or they can be plural. What are your needs? It is a need or they are needs. So, some things that we need every day, we need water, we have to drink. If we don't drink, we die, right? Food, we need to eat food. If we don't eat food, we can't survive. So we need these things. We need a house too, really. There's many kinds of houses, but we really do need a place to live. If we don't have one, our lives are very, very poor and not very nice. So we do need these types of things things that we must have to live, to live a good life too. Wants, again, we can use plural or singular. It is a want or they are wants. Wants are things that you don't need. You don't need these things. You don't need, but wish to have. Wish, of course, means want. You want it, you wish you had it, right? This boy is playing with a toy helicopter. He's in the store. He probably says to mom, mommy, please buy me this helicopter. He doesn't need it, but he wants it. So needs and wants, they're different things. Needs, you must have them. Wants are things you just wish that you had. Okay, so when we talk about needs and wants, we can also talk about this word, scarcity. There is a scarcity of something. Scarcity means not enough, not enough of something. Look at this picture. Imagine many people are coming to dinner. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six people want to eat dinner. They only have one small tomato. That's not enough. There's a scarcity of food, a scarcity of food. So scarcity is a noun, but we can also use it as an adjective, scarce, scarce. Scarce means there's not enough as an adjective, a scarce amount of something, okay? So scarcity means not enough of something. Okay, and of course, when we talk about needs and wants, we think about how to get those things, especially how do we get those wants? Well, we're talking about money, 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 right? Uh, money is something that people use as a means of exchange. Exchange means to change, right? I have something, I exchange it for another thing. In this case, most often, People use money as the means of exchange. I use money, I give money, and I get something in return. So I give money and I get something in return. It's a means of exchange. And of course, money is so important 
in today's world, right? It's how we get what we need and what we want. And there's two types of money, especially you can see in this picture. We see paper money and we see coins. Let's talk about that. The first type I said is paper money. We call paper money bills. So bills, how many hundred dollar bills do you have? This is $100, you can see here, 100. That's a lot of money. That's like Shipman Juan, right? That's a lot of money, $100. So if you're talking about the individual notes, by the way, these are also called notes, bill or note. If we talk about the individual ones, we can say, how many $100 bills do you have? How many $100 bills do you have? I have three $100 bills. I don't, I wish, <laughs> right? I want, but $100 bills, how many bills do you have? I have a $20 bill, a $50 bill, and a $100 bill. That means I have $170 in three bills or three notes. Usually we call them bills, but we can also call them notes, and it is describing paper money, paper money. So obviously paper money is light, it's easy to carry, uh, and of course when we're talking about a lot of money, it's much easier to carry large bills than a lot of small bills. So we can also say large bills. A $100 bill is a large bill. A $1 bill is a small bill. It's the same size, it's just different amount of money. So large bills, small bills. Same size as paper, but different amounts of money. Those are bills. What about coins, right? Of course, you have coins too. You probably have coins in your pocket, right? Coin is money that is made of metal. So as you can see here, these are coins here, and sometimes they're a little bit heavy, right? Um, so these coins, they look like the British pound. I'm not sure if they are, but they're very thick, and they would be quite heavy. If you had a lot of coins in your hand, that's a, that's a little bit heavy. Obviously, it's very hard to carry around a lot of coins. That's why paper money is more convenient. But sometimes you buy small things, or not everything is exactly $1 or $2 or $10. Sometimes it's $8.57, right? If you have $8.57, seven cents, right? You can pay eight dollars in paper money and you can pay uh, 57 cents in coins, okay? Or you can pay nine dollars in paper money and they will give you change in coins. Coins is also called change. For example, if I'm at a vending machine, I want to buy some Coca-Cola or some soda drink but I need some coins. So I might ask my friend, do you have any change? And he or she will give me coins so I can put it in the machine. Do you have any change? I'm talking about coins. Okay, now in America, there are different types of coins. We have different names for the different coins, and the different coins are different values. A quarter is worth 25 cents, and this is a good picture of an American quarter. A coin that is worth 25 cents, and it's interesting because quarter, if we just look at the, quor at the word quarter, if we have one whole thing and we divide that thing into four equal parts, each part is called a quarter, quarter. A quarter is the same as one-fourth, one-fourth. If you divide one thing into four parts, one-fourth, a quarter. So if this is one dollar, you divide one dollar into four parts, one-fourth of a dollar is a quarter. And that's why we say a qu 25 cents is a quarter, because 25, whoops, 25 times four equals what? You got it, 
100. So 25, sorry about that, 25 is one-fourth of a dollar. Okay, so that's why we call it a quarter. Okay, another coin in American currency is the penny. By the way, I just used an important word, currency. Currency. This is an important word to talk about money. Currency means money. It also means, for example, a country's type of money. So we can say American currency, Korean currency. The penny is the smallest coin in American currency. It's the smallest. You can't get any smaller uh, coin in American currency than the penny. By the way, currency also means bills and coins. It means both. So a penny is a coin that is worth one cent. One cent! That's hardly anything. You can't hardly buy anything for one penny. It's almost useless now. You need 25 pennies to make one quarter. You need 100 pennies to make one dollar. So it's really a small amount of money. We've talked about quarter. We talked about penny. Let me teach you two more. One is a nickel. A nickel. Let me make the I there, nickel, and the other is a dime, dime. A nickel equals five cents. By the way, cent is represented by this symbol here, five cents, and a dime is ten cents, okay? So these are another two types of coins, very common. Penny, nickel, dime, quarter. Sometimes you can have half a dollar or even one dollar coin, that's possible, but these are the most common. Penny, nickel, dime, quarter. Those are the most common coins in American currency. But remember, currency also means bills. One dollar bill, ten dollar bill, twenty dollar bill is also currency. Okay, so that, that's very interesting about American money there. Okay, now let's move on to our chart. We can see our chart here. We have needs and we have wants. Let's talk about these. What are our needs? What do we need to live? Food and water, of course, are needed. We have to eat. We have to drink. Our bodies need these things because if they don't get them, we'll die. We need a house. We need a house to protect ourselves from the environment, from the weather. If it rains or snows or is really cold, we don't want to be outside. We might die, especially if it's very cold. We need a house to live in. We also need clothes. Now, people can say we don't need clothes. You don't need clothes to live. But in society, we need clothes. It's cold. Uh, it's important to wear clothes. They protect us from the weather and it's important to wear in society, it's important to wear clothes. So we need these things. These are things that we need in order to live and in order to live in our society. Those are things that we must have. Now wants are things that we don't really need. We, it's not necessary that we have them. For example, a toy. You don't really need toys, right? You could live your life without toys. You'd be kind of maybe sad a little bit for children, but uh, you don't really need toys. Books, uh, you don't really need books. It's nice to have books. It's important to have books, but we don't really need books to live. A pet, you don't need a pet really, especially if you're living in a small apartment, not a big house. You don't really need a pet. You don't need a pet anyway. Pets are nice to have, People want to have pets because they're fun, they're like companions, they can be your friends, but it's not necessary to have a pet. What about music lesson? Okay, now you might tell your mom, I don't need a music lesson. True, you don't need a music lesson, but it's important to have a music lesson, just like it's important to have a book, to learn and to develop yourself. But these are things we don't absolutely need there are things that we want or that we should have to make our lives richer, to make our lives better. They're just wants, okay? So that's the main difference between needs and wants. Needs are absolutely, we must have them to survive. 
Wants are things that we wish that we had. Okay, let's go on to the matching words. We'll match the words with the definition. These are our words here and the definitions are below. Let's go over them. Needs, wants, scarcity, scarcity, money, bill, and coin. So let's match these words to their definitions. Number one, paper money. Money that is made from paper. And it's usually larger amounts of money. What do we call that? We call that a bill, right? Bill or bills. Paper money are bills. Remember, we can also say notes. But here we're saying bill. Number two, not enough of something. So if there's not enough of something, for example, there's six people, they want to eat dinner, there's only one small tomato, they have to share it. There's not enough. So we say that that situation, there is a scarcity, a scarcity of food, a scarcity of water, a scarcity of land. These are problems that come up as people get more and more. If there's many people, there's less food, less water, less land. There is a scarcity of these things. Okay, number three. Money that is made of metal. Not paper, but metal. Not a bill, but a coin. That's right. A coin is money that is made of metal. And we talked about different types of coins. Penny, nickel, dime, quarter. Very common types of coins in American currency. Number four, things that you must have to live. You must have them, especially some of these things. If you don't have them, you die, right? They're very important to have. So what are they? Are they needs or wants? I'll get, of course, it's needs, isn't it? Needs. Number five is the opposite of needs or the, the other uh, idea from needs. Things that you don't need, you don't need them but wish to have. You wish you had them. Those, of course, are wants. Remember, wish and want is very similar in meaning. I wish I had this. I want to have it. Okay? Wish, though, is stronger, uh, stronger a uh, feeling. Six, something that people use as a means of exchange. A means of exchange. In other words, uh, they can use this. It's a very convenient way to use to exchange something, right? So what is that? Of course, I'm going to give something. I'm going to get something back. I give, I usually give what? I give money. I have to have money in my pocket in order to buy things. So I give money and that in exchange, I can get a good or a service. So that's very important. Something that people use as a means of exchange, money or currency. Currency is a very similar word to money. Okay, we have our chart here and we have a woman who is shopping. What is she shopping for? She looks like she is shopping for clothes. Let's take a look here. We use money to buy what we need and want. What we need and what we want. We use money to buy those things. But we do not always have enough money. If we don't, do not, key word is not, we do not have enough money, that is called scarcity. And remember, it's not just money. It could be food, water, land, anything. There is not enough of something that's scarcity. In this case, not enough money. Maybe she wants to buy all of these things, but she doesn't have enough money common situation. We have to make choices. Make choices about what to buy. And that's everybody's situation, isn't it? We don't have all the money we want to buy things, right? And that's just part of life. So we must make smart choices. What should we buy? She has to choose which one she wants to buy because she doesn't have money to buy all of these items. Let's take a look here. Here's a, a girl and it looks like her maybe older brother and they're in a shopping store, right? And they're holding up a dress and he's 
looking to see what it looks like. And you know, they're, they're looking at different clothes. They're different styles of clothes, dresses and shirts because they have to figure out what they want to buy. And they were going by really fast, right? Of course, that video was, was very fast. But that's what people do. When they go to a clothing store, you try on different clothes. You can't buy everything. You can only buy one or two things. So you try on different things to see what looks good and what you can afford. What do you have money to buy? And then you make your choice. Make smart choices when shopping. Okay. Let's move on to our mini quiz here. Choose the correct answer. Here we have these different pictures and we're talking of course in this unit about needs and wants. Think about that. What do you need in your life and what is just a want, right? Needs are things that you absolutely must have. Wants are things you just want to have. It's okay. You don't need them to live. Okay, let's talk about these things. This first picture, what is this first picture? Looks a little difficult, doesn't it? If we take a look at it closely, we can see there's a little button on the top. You push that button, psh, psh. what does it spray out? This sprays out perfume. This is perfume. What do we use perfume for? We use perfume to make us smell better, right? So if we want to smell better, we use perfume. So do we need perfume? or do we just want perfume? Is it a need or is it a want? Well, of course, we don't really need perfume, do we? It is a want. It falls under the category of wants. How about the next one? This is a picture of a home, okay? I know it's not a real home. It looks like a toy house, but let's say it's a real home. It's a home where people live. So is a home a need or a want? Do we need to live in a home? Do we need to live somewhere? Yeah, absolutely. We need to live in a home, especially if we live in cold countries, right? Where it's very cold in the winter. We need a home to live in. And in society, every family should have their own home, a place to put their stuff, to sleep at night, to get together as a family. So a home is something that we need. What about this? This is kind of cute. This looks like a little robot toy, right? You wind it up over here, the little key, you turn it, and then he walks around, right? So this is a toy, right? This is just a toy. We could say it's a toy robot. There are many kinds of toys. This is a toy robot. So do we need this toy or do we just want it? What do you think? That's right, it's just want. We just want this toy. It's not necessary that we have it. It's just some people might want it. Okay, let's go on to our true and false questions. We have our three sentences. Circle T for true, F for false. Number one, scarcity. Remember that word, scarcity. Scarcity means there is enough of something. If you say there is enough, that means there's plenty. We have enough. Right? Six people come to dinner, everybody gets enough food. Everybody is satisfied. Oh, I had enough food. Oh, that's good. Does scarcity mean that? No, it doesn't. That's false, right? Because it doesn't mean there is enough of something. Scarcity means there is not enough. Remember I said that's the key word. That's the important word there. Scarcity means there is not enough of something. You don't have enough food for everybody. So that's scarcity. There's not enough. So we have to change that. So that's false. Okay, number two. We need to make choices about what to buy. Remember that slide that we saw, the picture of the woman in the store. She's holding up different shirts. She has to decide which one to buy. She needs to make a choice about what to buy because we don't have all the money that we want, right? We don't, we don't have a lot of money. We only have a certain amount of money. So we need to make choices about what to buy. That's a good idea, isn't it? That's absolutely true. Number three, wants are things that you must have to live. If you don't have them, you die, right? Wants? Is that true? Wants are things that you must have? No, that's not true, right? It's not true. What are things? It's not wants. 
If we change it, what do we change it to? Yeah, we change it to needs. Needs are things that you must have to live. That's true, okay? So we need to change the sentence so that's false. Okay, well, let's take a short break here. We're going to come back in a little bit and take a look at the reading passage. So don't go away. Okay, welcome back. Let's go over the reading passage together. In this reading passage, of course, we're talking about needs and wants. And we can see that right away in our first sentence. People have needs and wants. That's our topic sentence, right? That's the main sentence that we're talking about. Now, of course, in this passage, we're going to be talking about needs and wants, and we're also going to talk about how we get those things. So let's take a look. Of course, in the sentence, needs is first, wants is second. So it's important that we talk about needs first. And that's very important, right? Don't switch the order, right? The order should be the same. So people have needs and wants. Needs are things we must have to live. This is a definition sentence. This sentence defines, tells us what needs are. Needs are things we must have to live. After this sentence, we expect there will be some examples of that. And that's what we have. Food, shelter, and clothes are needs. Those are examples of needs. So it's very good passage construction, very good writing construction, right? Needs and wants, first needs, what are needs, and then give examples. Now the second thing we talked about are wants. So that's the second thing we talk about. Wants are things we would like to have. Again, we have a definition sentence. Definition. What are wants? After the definition sentence, we can see some examples. Dolls, candy, and candy are wants. Two examples of wants. Things we want but don't necessarily need. We use money. Now, the next sentence talks about how do we get needs and wants. How do we get those? We use money to buy what we need and want. So we use money to buy. We are going to buy what we need and what we want. How? We are going to use money to do that. So we expect that the next part will be about money. And that's exactly what we have. There are different types of money different types of money. So that's kind of an introductory sentence into the types of money or talking about money. You're going to split money into two groups, right? Bills and coins are types of money. Bills and coins, your two types of money. There are different types of money. One type is bills, one type is coins. Let's talk about each. Now remember, we talked about bills first, and coins second. So again, the passage is going to talk about bills first. That's what we have. A bill has more value than a coin. Okay? A coin is money made of metal. It doesn't say, but we know that bill is uh, money that is made of paper. And a coin is money made of metal. Now, just as there are many types of bills, there are many types of coins. Many types of of coin. We talked about two. A quarter and a penny are two kinds of coin in America. And of course I also taught you uh, nickel and dime, five cents and ten cents. So there are many types of coin. But just in the passage they talked about quarter and penny. And there are two kinds of coin in America. Remember these are American. It's American currency. It's American money. Of course, you have different types of coins in Korea, right? You have shipwon, right? Begwon, oshipwon, right? Those are different types of coins, right? Oh, and obegwon. We can't forget obegwon, right? That's the biggest one. Okay, so just as we have different types of coins in America, you also have different types of coins in Korea. Metal money and paper money. Okay, sometimes there is not much of something. Not much of something. This is called a scarcity. So when we say there's a situation, sometimes this is true. We call that that this. Okay, that's what we see going on here. We have a situation. Describe the situation. Sometimes there is not much of something. 
What is it called? This is called a scarcity. We do not always have enough money. This is an example. We do not always have enough money to buy all we want. So if there's not much of something, for example, not enough money to buy what we want, we call that a scarcity. That's why we have to choose between things. You choose between things. A, B, C. You have to choose between those things. And it could be three things, it could be just two things, or it could be a lot of things. Okay? You have to choose between them. Which is the best? Make a good choice. Okay. This is our reading skill, compare and contrast. We're talking about needs and wants, right? So we can compare them. Here on the top, we see two things that are different about needs and wants. This is different than this, and this is different than this. But here on the bottom, we see that they are similar too. The, in this way, needs and wants are the same. Let's take a look at what we're talking about here. We have uh, needs, and I already said the other one, right? Needs, beep, of course we know what that is. That, of course, is wants. That's what we're talking about, needs and wants. Our other words are must, money, and food. So we need to fill those in these blanks here. So needs, things we beep, have to live. We what? We must have to live? Does that fit? Absolutely. Things we must have to live. We must have them in order to live. On the other hand, wants are thing, things we would like to have. Would like to is similar to wish, but would like to is weaker. I would like to have a toy. I would like to have a car. Things like these, we would like to have them. We wish we had them. We want them. But we don't, it's not necessary. It's not something we must have to live. It's not something we must have to live. It's just something we would like to have. So needs, what are some examples of needs? That's the next one, right? So we said beep, shelter, and clothes. What's another example of a need? Of course, we can see that right here. That's food. Food, shelter, and clothes are examples of needs. Over here, examples of wants, things like dolls and candy. Those are examples of wants. On the bottom, how are needs and wants similar? Well, we use something to buy what we need and want in both cases. What do we use? Our only word left is money, and that's of course true. We use money to buy what we need and want. That's how these things are similar. Needs and wants, we use money to buy those things. Okay? So this is a good chart showing two differences for needs and wants and one similarity. How are they the same? Okay, let's go on to our reading comprehension questions. Number one, what does a bill have more value than? More value. We're talking about value, remember? We're talking about how much it is worth. Do you remember the $100 bill I told you about? It's Shipmon Juan. Wow, that's a lot of money, right? Bills are usually larger amounts of money. Now, there, remember, there are two types of money we talked about. Two types of money. One is bills, and the other one would be what? Scarcity, metal, or coin? Of course, it's coin, not scarcity, not metal, right? A bill, we're talking about coins. A bill has more value than a coin. Scarcity is not, doesn't have a value. Metal uh, has a value, but we don't, we're not comparing bills and metal. We're comparing bills and coins. Those are the two types of money. So coin is our answer. Number two, food, Momo, are all needs. And we have a blank here. The blank, we have two things or two nouns that we can fill in. And of course, we're looking for examples. Examples of what? Examples of needs. Food is an example of needs. What are other examples of needs? Let's take a look. A, clothes and candy. So we need clothes. Yeah, we need clothes in today's society, but we also have and candy. Do we need candy? Don't say yes, okay? We don't need candy. Candy is nice to have. It's sweet. It's delicious. 
but we don't need it, right? We don't need candy, so that is not correct. Sorry. Okay. B, food, shelter, and clothes. Do we need shelter? Remember, shelter is the same as a home or a house. Yeah, we need shelter. We need shelter from the environment, from the weather. So yeah, we need shelter. What about clothes? Do we need clothes? Yeah, we just said a number A, we do need clothes. So B is a correct answer. Let's take a look at C, toys and candy. We already saw candy, we don't need that. We'd also, we don't need toys either, right? That's not an example of a need. So C is not the correct answer either. B is our correct answer. They are all examples of needs, food, shelter, and clothes. Let's move on to number three, a penny and a quarter. A penny, one cent, a quarter, 25 cents, are what? A, two kinds of coin in America. Is that true? Yes, that is true. They are two kinds of coin in America. Let's look at B and C for practice. B, types of candy sold in America. No, I'm sorry, they are not types of candy. We do not call candy, we do not call uh, uh, candy pennies and quarters. No, pennies and quarters are coins, not candy. A penny and quarter are both bills. No, they're not bills, uh, which are used in America. Bills, remember, are paper money. Penny and quarters are coins, metal money. They're made of metal. So C is not correct either, right? The only true answer, of course, is A. Okay, so let's take a look at number four. Number four says, what happens when there is a scarcity of something? When there is a scarcity of something, what's the situation? We have A, B, and C. They're complete sentences, so we have to look at them carefully. A, we have enough money to buy all the things that we want. So we have enough money to buy all the things we want. No problem. We have enough. Is that true? No. Because remember, scarcity means not enough. It doesn't mean enough. It means not enough. So A is not correct. Let's take a look at B. Scarcity. There is not much of something. Sounds good. There is not much of something and we might not be able to buy it. Actually, all we really need to look at is this one right here. There is not much of something. That is what scarcity means. That means there is a scarcity. So B is the correct answer. Okay, and we might not be able to buy it. That's just extra information. It doesn't contradict the first part. So basically there is not much of something. That is scarcity. Let's look at C just for practice. We only have enough money to buy the things we want, not need. So C is trying to trick you, right? We only have enough money to buy the things we want, not the things we need. It doesn't matter, right? It, that, you know, whether we have enough money to buy the things we want, when we buy things that we want, those things are extra, right? We have to buy things we need first, right? So this sentence doesn't really make sense. It's not appropriate. It's not correct, right? We only have enough money to buy the things we want, not the things we need. That's not a scarcity. If you have enough money to buy the things that you want, you have a surplus of money because first you have to buy the things that you need. You buy those things first. Then if you have extra money, you can buy the things that you want. So that's not a scarcity. That means that you have enough money. Okay, so let's move on to the next one. Needs and wants. We saw this chart before. In this case, we have to fill in the blanks or describe what these pictures are. Remember, needs and wants. What are some examples of needs? We see a picture of some bread here and some water. So what, how can we describe these needs here? Of course, very important for us. We need food and water. Came on down. Food and water are what we need. Over here looks like a place to live, some place to protect us from the environment, from bad weather. What do we call that? Of course, we call that a house, right? A house or a home. It's our home. This here, it's a sweater, but of course, not just a sweater, but many types of this. We need these things to cover our bodies uh, for cold weather, and also in society, we need what? We need 
clothes that snuck up from the bottom. Clothes. Over here, we have wants, okay? So over here we had needs, now we're talking about wants. Not what we really need in life, but what we want, what we would like to have, or what we wish to have. First of all, we have, what is this? This is, of course, something you play with. It is a toy, right? This, of course, is something that you read, especially if it's your favorite character. You want to read about the adventures of your favorite character. You want to get one of these. What is this? It's a book, right? Over here is a cute little puppy dog, right? Cute little puppy dog. Of course, when we talk about these things, we can say puppy dogs, uh, cats, birds, even lizards, hamsters, fish. What are those things? Animals that we keep in our house. We don't actually need them, but we want them. What do we call those? Those are pets. Pets. And here, there's a man. He seems to be a very formal man. <laughs> He's teaching the girl how to play the violin. So what is, what is this called? This, of course, is the music lesson that we talked about. Okay, just to summarize here, this unit is talking about, of course, needs and wants. There are some things that we need in life. Of course, we all need some things. We need food and water. That's basic, right? We have to buy those things. It's not like air. It's just there. We can get enough of it. We need to go out and we need to get food and water. We either have to work for it or we have to pay for it. Um, a house. We need shelter to live in and we need clothes to cover our bodies. These are things we need. Just some examples of things we need. Over here are some examples of things we want, things we would like to have. And, of course, we like to have these types of things. They make our life uh, richer, more full. How do we get these things? We use money to buy these things. And there's two types of money, bills and coins. And if there's not enough of something, that's a scarcity. So either we have a scarcity of money or we have a scarcity of items and that also means that the price will go up, but that's, that's a much different lesson. Anyway, um, so there are needs and wants. We get these things by using money. Money is a means of exchange that we use to buy the things that we need and that we want. And we use money, two types of money, bills and coins. Okay, well, that'll wrap it up for this lesson. Hope you've learned a lot. We'll see you guys next time. Take care.